Hello and welcome back for another wild review and today's review is all about my second favourite lens. Well, to be fair, all my lenses are my favourite because they're all awesome. But today's review is all about the Fujifilm 100 to 400 millimetre telephoto lens. Okay, before I kick off, um, I have a fun fact for you. I name all of my lenses and my camera body, which is called Silver. And the reason why I name them is because everything awesome deserves a name. <laughs> and this lens is called Thea. I don't know if that was upside down or not. <laughs> and I gave her the name of Thea because Thea is the Titan goddess of sight. And hopefully by the end of this review, you'll see why this lens has been gifted with such an awesome name. So when I first got this lens, I need to cover her ears. I didn't like her. I didn't like my lens. <laughs> I really didn't like her. I put my hands up. I didn't like her. And the reason for this was is because I just didn't like the quality of the images to begin with. But, big but. I took my time and I learned to use the lens because when I first started shooting with this lens, I was like this. I was just like literally shaking everywhere. <laughs> and I was like, why are my pictures coming out blurred? What's wrong with them? Oh, this lens is so rubbish. And I was like shooting like this. So I took my time, I learned how to use the lens and uh, what works best for the lens. And actually the pictures have now come out great. So this would just be a word of advice for anyone buying any lens. Uh, just give them a bit of time and just learn to use it properly before you make a judgment and before you critique it. So that's the plot twist. I didn't like her, <laughs> um, but now I love her. So yes, plot twist. Okay, my second point of why I love this lens is because it is fun. It is fun to use and photography should be fun. Everything you do should have an element of fun to it because why do it otherwise and this lens is fun it opened up a whole new realm of photography to me it's like things you can't see with the normal human eye and what i love is is that each of my lenses has their own style their own character their own strength and i love going out somewhere and thinking hmm that shot will look really good with thea or really look nice with marilyn and it's nice that you can utilize their different characters and strengths to your photography. I absolutely love that. And this lens does that. And this lens opened up a whole new world to me. And I love it for that. I will give you some examples of this, of where I've had fun with this lens. And yeah, here they are now and you see what I mean. So if you know anything about me or you've seen my other um, review about my 56mm, you will know that I absolutely love um, versatility in photography and with my lenses. Now versatility is so important to me because I don't like to just have a lens that I can do for one thing. I like to use it for everything. Yeah, it's a telephoto lens. You might think wildlife photography, but I like to incorporate its strength into everything that I do. So that landscape, portrait, wildlife, you name it, everything. Um, and that's really important to me. I don't want a lens that just aims for one thing. I like to get this whole package from it. Um, and this lens does that. So 
So the next point I'm going to talk about is the final product you get from this lens. And this is in relation to compression. And what I mean by that is, is the way this lens, especially because it's got the longer focal length, it draws in that background to allow your subject to pop. And I love that. And I will give you some examples in just a second to show you what I mean. So here they are. Yeah, as you can see, it's it just gives a really lovely finish to a picture. And like I say, it makes your subject just pop. And I really like that. But linking to this, and it's something to be aware of, this lens does not have a constant aperture. So it means that when it's at 400 millimeters, uh, the aperture will be fixed at 5.6. Whereas if you're at 100 millimeters, it'd be fixed at 2.8, which is a little bit annoying, but it's not a 5,000 pound lens. And if you want a constant aperture where it stays at 2.8 through the whole focal length range, then you've got to pay the pennies and just have to deal with it really. As you have to have that narrow aperture, less light is gonna come through the lens. You then have to crank up either your ISO or reduce your shutter speed. So you have to expect that with a telephoto lens, um, it is normal to have your ISO a bit higher. Yeah, so just be aware of that, but it's okay. It's perfectly normal. Okay, so moving on to sharpness. And as I've discussed, I did not like this lens when I first got it, because <laughs> I didn't like the quality of the images. Um, and I think sharpness is a funny one because I'm so used to shooting with a prime with my 56 millimeter, which is crystal clear and has beautiful clarity. It's not over sharpness, just has the clarity. And this lens doesn't perform on the same level as that. But you have to be fair, and I am being fair because this lens has to compete with getting sharpness and clarity at this whole focal length. Um, or focal range, whereas the 56 millimeter has been optimized at 56 millimeter. So it will have that clarity and it will have that sharpness um, that you would expect. Um, but I think having this lens um, and being fair to it, in terms of what it does and how it does it, it does it extremely well. And I will show you examples now and you can see what you think. And if you think I'm being picky, <laughs> let me know, because I probably am. <laughs> So this leads me on to my next and final point, which is details. And it's all about those lovely, lovely details. And what do I mean by details? So when I'm going out and doing photography, I'm not fussed about the classic shots or the big shots. It's just, I've never been inspired by it and I can't see it. And I'm hat off to anyone who can, I just, I can't see that. What sings to me and my heart is just all those lovely beautiful details about the world so this could be on the macro scale with like a tiny little flower or a mushroom or something like that or on the grand scale which could be a mountain and you can just see like the snow on the top of it and the wind just kissing over it and that's the things i absolutely love just the details of life details are important to me and this lens captures them absolutely beautifully and when i first started shooting this lens, I just felt like at awe of it because you can get things that you'd never see with any of my other lenses or the human eye. Um, I can see more details to the world. And it's funny, macro does that on a smaller scale and then telephoto does that on a grander scale. And there's just details in everything. And I'm sorry I keep saying the word details. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you in a minute. Uh, some of my favorite pictures that I have ever taken. It means a lot for me to say that because I don't really say that a lot about my photography. Uh, but yeah, these were very special. So I was out in the Lake District, I was top of the mountains there and there was the most beautiful, beautiful cloud inversion I have ever seen. And I had ever seen because that's the first cloud inversion I had ever seen. <laughs> 
And yeah, what I saw was incredible. And to this day, I still can't believe uh, the conditions. They were just perfect. But I spent a long time hiking up a very big hill, mountain, with this lens and all my camera gear. And I tell you what, it was completely worth it. And I will show you now what I mean and how this lens just captured that magic in that beautiful moment. So um, here they are. you like these pictures <laughs> and I hope you can see what I mean about um, details and how this lens captured it super well and this is why I gave her her name because she is the goddess of sight and I am so grateful that I had her at that moment in time and yeah that I can just capture that in like time and it's a memory now for the rest of my life and I'm very grateful to this lens for that Okay, so that is the end of this review. Um, I try to do my reviews in a way that's from the user experience. I'm not technically minded in photography. I'm not an expert. I don't know all the glass and details used to build this lens. That is beyond my mind's capacity. But I just wanted to give a review that was honest and from a user experience and give the samples of the images that I've got. That's where I wanted to come from with this. I mean, I've only had it in since December, so I've not had it that long. Uh, but in that time, I have not been disappointed with it at all. And I get so excited to take it out and see what else I can get with it. Um, I am completely self-taught and I'm a hobbyist. And yeah, this is all just from that perspective, just from an honest human, normal being perspective. <laughs> so bear that in mind and I hope it's been helpful, I really do. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to just drop me a comment and just say, and I will answer it completely honestly as I have nothing to hide. Anyway, I will stop talking because yet again, I am going on. So <laughs> have a wonderful day, enjoy yourself and just do whatever you're doing, but do it with fun. And yeah, goodbye for now. Bye-bye.